everybody, and welcome to the Monkey and Manimal Movie Missions Podcast. Yeah! The only podcast on the internet where the audience gets to vote from a list of ten for which movie they're going to force the host to watch. And this month, you'll never guess what movie won. Last month, we got to watch Shrek. What could it be, boy, oh boy? And this month, the winner was Shrek 2. But before we get to Shrek 2, because I know you're all on and the, the edge cr- of your seats. The crowd goes fucking wild. Let's introduce who we got here. We got... Your main host, the monkey man himself, Monkey Jones. Uh, oh, th- oh, please, please, you're too kind, you're too kind. And special guest star, uh, the one and only, Manimal the Cannibal. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the show, buddy. It's nice to have you here. Yeah, I got a demotion to a uh, special guest, mm-hmm, but yeah. uh, what can you do? I decided I wanted to be the only, the only <laughs> host, so now Manimal's just a special uh, guest star. Uh, after the last episode, he just texted me, uh, you're shit. Yeah. You're special you're, guest. You're demoted. <laughs> I cut his pay you're in half. Gar- you're garbage. His from, pay guy. from zero to <laughs> now I have to pay you to be on the show. <laughs> and, uh, oh... That's not that's not the laughter you, of a of a big man. That's the laughter. Boys, can you boys smell that through your microphones? Oh, the boy can stink. You, can you smell the boy stink emanating through the microphones? Just just get real close. Get a waff. Okay. Get a waff. Just. Mmm. That's gonna sound boy, good. Got, you smell that? It smells like uh, mu- mu- musty boy stink. <laughs> musty boy stink. What could that be? We got we got Maddie, aka Boy Stink, hey. on the set today. Give it up. For Boy Stank, right here. Hey, Maddie, say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. You don't have to wave, they can't see. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys might be wondering, why is Maddie on the Shrek 2 episode? Well, let me tell you. Back in the day, you know, you guys, we talked about it a little bit last time. There was this website called Shrek Chan. Instead of 4chan, it was like, it was all about Shrek. All the boards were about Shrek. And it was beautiful. And Maddie here was actually an admin. She was one of the moderators on Shrek Chan, and that's how we met her. Because it turns out Maddie is a Shrek expert, a Shrek expert, if you will. <laughs> she is a seen... Shrek enthusiast. Maddie, how many times have you seen the movie Shrek Two? Well, this would be the eleventh time, and at least. You Maddie can recall can recall every single one, every single date that she saw it. And Maddie, yesterday in the car when we were leaving the Iowa State Fair, what soundtrack did you have me listen to? That was on your phone. Shrek Two. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't even because what? we were doing this. She just has the Shrek 2 soundtrack on her phone and fucking listens to monkey it. Monkey over here is acting like that's some kind of big deal. I've got the fucking Shrek 2 soundtrack out all my It blew my mind when I found that out. Why yeah. does everybody have the Shrek 2 soundtrack? Dude, I can't believe you why don't. Why doesn't everybody Yeah, have why don't you it? have it? It's just such a weird thing to have. <laughs> no, it's a weird thing for you not to have. <laughs> all right, so everybody, we knew this movie was going to win. I knew from the moment Shrek won... One that Shrek two was sure. next, and then yeah. next month we're gonna watch Shrek three, then Shrek four, then Puss in Boots, then fucking Shrek's Christmas uh, special, and then the uh, the live action theater. I one. actually that was there on was Netflix. a Halloween one too. Oh fuck! Don't tell them that. Because <laughs> <laughs> now they're gonna request me to put it on the list. The next list should just be all Shrek related media. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They'll make us watch Shrek four instead of Shrek three yep. next. Oh shit! Let's okay. No, let's not do behind, that. Behind the scenes. Don't, I have, don't, the, I have the Christmas that. DVD. Oh. Oh, don't tell them what we have available. Uh, and then we're gonna have to watch like uh, Shrek five when it comes out and Shrek six. But by yeah. then the podcast will be over. <laughs> we're gonna go the old monkey and Biggs route with this shit. But uh, Maddie, since you're the the Shrek two expert here, would you like to begin our discussion of the plot? And let's everybody. I mean. Everybody knows the, shrot of, uh, the plot of Shrek 1, so that's why we didn't talk about it. Sure. Shrek 2, this is actually the second time I've ever seen it. I only saw it in theaters as a kid. I haven't seen it that much either, mm-hmm. so that's probably why I enjoyed this one a lot. More yeah, so if we could just go through the plot real quick, and then we can get to a deeper analysis of the film. So would you like to start us off? Um, it's, it starts off on the honeymoon. So like right where Shrek 1 ends, Shrek yeah. 2 begins. Just picks yeah. it right up. And they're at their honeymoon, and then when they get back home, Donkey's there. And they're trying to get Donkey to leave. And as Donkey leaves... They want to go to pounce on... Shrek, they put a oh lot of... Oh, God, uh, they just want to fucking get it. There's a <laughs> lot of sexual tension between Shrek and Fiona at this yeah. point. It's, it was almost gratuitous for being in a children's film how much they obviously wanted to fuck each other. Oh, yeah. I was a little uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, yeah, I they're, wasn't. They're trying to get Donkey out of there. <laughs> like, I Donkey would want to fuck. I couldn't feel more comfortable. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Fuck. They realized we we slipped on X videos. <laughs> Just did that without me even knowing. So they got a bunch of like uh, messengers who show up and they're like, "Hey, Fiona, your parents want to meet the new dude, right?" Yeah, so- and Shrek didn't want to go, and they were arguing, 
And then, and this of is the, course, this they is the beginning, end up going. This is the beginning of the big argument that yeah. sets them apart for the whole movie. Yeah. And uh, so they go to Far, Far Away, and the parents are not having this. And that's when we come to my favorite Meet the Parents dinner scene, perhaps in all of cinema. Uh, I'd, I'd say it's close to the best, but not quite on par with the Only God Forgives one. Yeah, I was going to say. So I want to do a, a very strict comparison here between the Shrek 2 dinner scene and the Only God Forgives dinner scene, and we can see which one's the better. Go ahead, go ahead and play the compare and contrast uh, theme right no. There's a compare and contrast theme? You just made one. Oh, is it is it just um uh Spanish flea that I always play? I don't know. Do 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 Sure. Here, I can play it on the slide whistle. Okay, so yeah, yeah, and that, and then <laughs> No, that, that doesn't sound anything like it. You're yeah. I really Alright. So we got our first minute that gets cut. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you compare and contrast? I'll play on the slide whistle. Be quiet. Oh, I was just doing a bit. I don't really want to do that. It's getting too hot. <laughs> uh, no. So, so there's a great little dinner scene where they get in this big old argument with with the with the in-laws. Yep. Fiona's in-laws or her parents. And it's uh, one of the funnier scenes in the movie. Probably my second favorite scene in the movie. And you guys know what my favorite scene is. Because I went and looked it up on YouTube. So I yeah, can watch it again. my favorite scene as well. But we'll get to that later. The scene that we went back and watched twice. <laughs> so, yeah, so we have this... Uh, yeah, we did. It's the first time in Mumpkin and Manimal history that we went back and watched the scene again. Rather than just waiting patiently for the movie to be over. Yeah. Like, let's see this shit again. <laughs> so then we got this other... We got this B plot that merges with the A plot. With the fairy godmother and her son, Prince Charming. And fairy godmother wants her son to fuck Fiona and get married. Yeah. And she's they want They want to get in that royalty bloodline. Mm. She promised her son the whole kingdom. Yeah, and they're going to do whatever it takes. And by God, she's going to give it to him. Meanwhile, Streck and Fiona are getting into this little marital dispute about how much Fiona has uh, made mean, God, changes. Yeah, goddamn, they've only been married for like a day. Yeah, it's been like Shit. less than a week. They just got back from the honeymoon. They're already fighting. And she's That's like, a, oh, I made all these changes for you, Shrek, and you just want to blah, 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 blah. Which is fair. I mean, what changes has she made for Shrek? Uh, besides her totally uh, physical nothing. appearance? Yeah, nothing, nothing. Not at the color all. of her skin. She didn't choose to make that change, though. That was the magic. Did you even pay attention to Shrek 1? Whatever. And she accepted that she would rather be the ogre because she loves Shrek. Oh, all okay, right, that's fair. Yeah. So Fiona's in the wrong here, I'd say. If, it, if this is family court and I'm Judge Mathis here, I say, Fiona, you're in the wrong. You fucked up. Yeah. Anyway, Shrek's like, you know what, maybe I should change. Maybe Fiona does want me to be a handsome man. And then we got this like plot with the the dad who is voiced by John Cleese, who I was very excited to find out that was John you Cleese. You sure were. I like John Cleese. Yeah. And uh, he, he like, just monkey just like jumped up out of his chair and just started going like, to it's, it's fucking John yeah. Cleese. And oh then, like, shit! He pulled pulled his little monkey pants down and just started like throwing shit everywhere. My dick was already out for Harambe, so I didn't have uh, to yeah. pull down the pants. Well, anymore. I mean, everybody's dick out <laughs> for Harambe. Maddie's always. dick has been throbbing for Harambe ever <laughs> yeah. since she found out about 20, his death. Twenty four seven. Yeah, Maddie, put that away, you sick <laughs> fuck. We're trying to talk about Shrek. On I guess if we're talking about Shrek too. Your dick can be hard and throbbing, right? Sure, that's probably fair. Yeah. So we got this other plot where the fairy godmother and uh, the king are doing a little scheme and he hires Puss in Boots to fucking murder Shrek. Yeah. But then uh, the murder goes awry and Shrek's like, okay, you can be sidekick number two. Yeah. And there's this little conflict between Puss in Boots and Donkey about who's going to be the new Shrek best friend. Yeah. It's a fun little conflict. It sure, it sure was. Jealousy. Yeah. Lots of jealousy. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Then competing for Shrek's uh, love. Long story yeah. short. Uh, Shrek and friends break into a potion factory, and he gets the potion to make him beautiful. Yep. Because he wants to be beautiful for, Fio- for Fiona. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, uh, they trick Fiona into thinking that Prince Charming is actually Shrek in human form, so yep. now they're going to get like kissing and shit. And yeah, and all Fiona's this... like, you seem weird. Yeah, because you that, ain't my Shrek. That's the thing. That's how you know that Fiona and Shrek are star-crossed lovers. They're meant to be together, because yep. even when she's confronted with somebody who everyone is saying, that is Shrek, she knows in her heart that that is not the man she loves. Mm-hmm. Very deep and dramatic storytelling in Shrek 2. Absolutely. Anyway, long story short again, they, they stop the kiss, and Shrek and Fiona 
get back together. Did we miss anything so substantial that we have to mention it? Really? Uh, our favorite scene. We didn't even fucking talk about that. Well, now we can get to the good stuff. Okay. Now, we got the plot out of the way. All right. Man, what's the best scene in the movie? Oh, uh, the best scene in the movie would be uh, when all the little fairy tale creatures are house sitting for Shrek and they're watching the TV. And then uh, what comes on the TV? It's but a parody a, of Cops. But, but one of my favorite, one of my favorite shows, Cops, a parody. Of, is that really one of your favorite shows? I fucking love Cops. Cops is pretty good. <laughs> I fucking love it. Have uh, you seen so uh, the, my... the Ferguson episode of Cops? Very dark. No. Uh, Very dark. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought you were serious for a second. There uh, probably is one. I don't know. Uh, no, my feeling is that TV is shit. So if I'm watching TV, I want to watch the lowest the garbage. shittiest shit. I want to possible. watch the lowest garbage they have on there, and that's fucking cops. <laughs> so I watch a lot of cops whenever I watch TV, and uh, like whenever I'm at work, I'm always turning it on cops <laughs> <laughs> to make all your coworkers yeah. watch it. And then like it's oh, just like, like in the waiting room on. with all the it's people. Always on. No, no, no. Like in oh. our break room, it's oh. always on. So like people just walk back there, and like on cops. TNT and shit. No, like on Spike. Oh, yeah. Well, same channel. Yeah. It's all the same shit. And then, uh, so, yeah, uh, pretty much Cops is always playing on TV. So And they have this parody called Nights. Yes, and, and it's fucking I found great. the whole clip on YouTube. I'll put a link to the description so you can yeah. go watch this, the best scene in Shrek 2. Every two seconds, there's something new that's funny. Yeah. I, I was great. laughing my ass off. We rewound and watched it again. Yeah. Anyway, now that we have all that out of the way, I as I, we were watching, I took notes of things I wanted to discuss. Shit, some were those all Snapchats? Those all snaps, son? Snaps. Didn't you have like a shit ton of snaps? No. I could be wrong. Oh, I no. thought I thought in your just Anyway, like just to, to start off the discussion of Shrek 2, our a friend of the show Baku Boys 101, you might have heard of him before. Uh, he sent in a bunch of discussion questions for this movie in particular, and I thought we could go around the horn and all three of us could answer these questions. So number 1 from uh, Mr. Baku Boys himself, what is your opinion on Shrek 2 and its commentary on race mixing? I can't understand how this cardinal sin is in such a popular kids movie. Maddie, go ahead and start off. What? <laughs> Why? How do you feel about Shrek 2 and it's the topic of race mixing within the film? I don't know. <laughs> We're about to don't find out me. whether or not Maddie likes black guys. Whoa. <laughs> Man, well, I know you're very passionate about this whole race mixing thing. So, how did you think it was portrayed in the film? I gave it two thumbs up. <laughs> that's that's the realest rating I've ever given. Oh, <laughs> is the film really about race mixing? Because I mean, there's definitely that they're both about. ogres. I guess you have Donkey and Dragon. They both became though. the same race, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, but well, Donkey and Dragon I mean, at, during the post credit scene, Avengers style, they that's have interspecies relationships. Yeah, I mean that's it's an analogy for interracial dating or whatever. Right, I think like yes. you can look that since Fiona was human, that her becoming the ogre is like adapting uh, Shrek's lifestyle, and her parents aren't a fan of. Uh, oh, so she changing. was like pure, but then when she dated a different race, she became she worse. Said, no, not worse. In their different. in her dad in her dad's eyes. So her she dad's like worse. the racist one, and she, yeah. he can't accept that the different races would mix Stereotyping together. Stereotyping yeah. ogres, yeah. Yeah. okay, their children. Yeah, yeah. Uh, during the opening scenes, there's like all these romantic scenes with Shrek and Fiona on their honeymoon, but then they're like being chased by pillagers and yeah. men. And I was like, wow, that's pretty much being a black person living in the South in like the 1800s, right? You're just getting chased around when you're on a date. Okay, well, Baku boys, that's our answer to that question. Let's see if they get any better. Oh, here's a good one. Maddie, we'll start with you again. Oh, and this, we can talk about my dad for this one. Would you fuck human Shrek? And we discovered, um, horrifyingly, that human Shrek looks exactly like my yeah, dad. Yeah, go ahead and put, go ahead and do a side by side yeah, comparison. Yeah. Uh, hold on, right uh, now. Go ahead and put okay. both those up. Okay, I'll put up a visual for our audio podcast. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go if you if you got this open in another tab, click over. You yeah, go see go ahead and click back over. <laughs> you're not gonna want to no. miss this. Uh, imagine if my dad right here, if he didn't have that goatee, he would look exactly like human Shrek. Yeah, but Maddie, go what, ahead. Would you fuck human Shrek? Go ahead and circle the goatee so they know what you're talking about. <laughs> in case they don't know what a goatee is, go. Okay. Head circle sure. for him. Okay. Draw an arrow, go to you. Okay. If I was really, really drunk, I might consider it. Now, cartoon version, or if he was like a human being, like in the flesh, like 3D, like us? If he was human. So basically, would you have sex with Monkey's dad? Yeah, would you have sex with my dad? That's what we're asking. No. Oh. Manimal, would you have sex with my dad? Sure. Next question. <laughs> question number three. Oh, fucking asshole. Who edits your videos? ARN168. Yeah, very fucking funny. Don't worry about it. Number four. Why do I want to floss with Manimal's chest hair? Very important Shrek-related question. Why do I want... Oh, why do I want to floss? Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Why not? What's wrong with your chest hair? Uh... 
I can see you some of uh, it right now. You know what? Go ahead. I don't yeah. care. Whatever. Would you floss with his, We were flossing yesterday at the fair. Would you floss with, with Manimal's chest hair, Maddie? If I didn't have any floss with me, I might. Oh, no. <laughs> it would just get worse. It would just be stuck. It's all pubey and... and uh, I wouldn't even floss with one mm. of my hairs. That's icky. All right, now I'm gonna open up my notes real quick, and we can uh, have some further discussion of Shrek too, because we got it. We got to dig deep. Yeah, got to and, get and in here. For this, I actually have something serious I want to talk about. So sure. in this movie, it's no, it's no question. Shrek has a lot of pop culture references. Yep. When they first show up to Far Far Away, they have all these parodies of popular places to eat. Like they have uh, Far Bucks instead of Starbucks. They have like a Baskin Robbins. I saw a Burger King in there, and I think it might have just been called Burger King because it's. <laughs> so my question is. Um, you know how in in uh, Pixar movies they they don't really go for the pop culture references, but in in DreamWorks movies they do. Sure. So my question is: Are pop culture references lazy comedy writing? Or are they just as equal as something like Pixar, where it world builds itself and makes jokes from that? I could I could see how um, it being pop culture could be a bit lazy, and also when you do that, it doesn't become timeless because mm, exactly there's like a like George years, W. Bush joke. Yeah, because and I was like, like what's the fuck? Because like ten years later, all of a sudden that joke lost its magic. Mm, whereas something like Toy Story, even yeah. if you don't know what those toys are, you can still love. You the can movie. watch Toy Story thirty years later, yeah. and you're still gonna love the movie. Yeah, Matt, you're a bit of an animation aficionado. What do you like better, the pop culture jokes in, in animated movies or the ones that are timeless? I like the ones that are timeless the best. So like yeah. the, the it, it Pixar's. feels more original. There's a reason why I think Pixar movies always win the Oscars, and you got your Shreks who maybe they'll win sure. for like sound design or something, <laughs> yeah. you know? But you're never going to see a, a Shark Tale winning the Oscar. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to go look it up. I bet Shark Tale won that year. <laughs> I look like an ass. So are, do we agree that pop culture, the jokes are a little lazier? Because it's not really a joke. You're just referencing something. It's almost yeah. family guy humor, but without the edge to it, you mm-hmm. know? So I think it's lazier writing, but it still is funny. But I don't know why. But just because I see something I recognize, why do I, why do I laugh at that? When I see George Bush's face inside the mirror, it's not funny in and of itself, yeah. right? It's just like, oh, suddenly George Bush is in this movie. That's wacky, ha ha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or when Donkey's talking about he likes Mexican food. Like, Mexico doesn't exist in this world, but it's funny because it's a reference to something. And... Yeah. And none of the food was Mexican food. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's funny. <laughs> you know, like, he's eating lobster and was... he says he loves Mexican food. Yeah. That's funny, but the reference to Mexico is a different kind of joke. Uh, so, what's our consensus? What's better, the timeless jokes or oh, the pop t- culture? Oh, timeless, easily. Yeah. Well, there we go. Uh, my other note was dinner scene, but we already covered that. Yeah. And then I wrote down soundtrack. I don't know why you wrote that. Uh, oh, because uh, the Counting Crows sold out for this oh, movie. <laughs> dad did, Rock. Yeah. Get some good old Dad Rock in there. Yeah. I always thought Counting Crows is the stuff that, like, you know, your 40-year-old dad would enjoy. And then I hear them playing this pop love song in Shrek 2, and I'm thinking, wow, they sold out, didn't they? I mean, my dad doesn't listen to Counting Crows, but... Well, sure, but it's it's in the genre of dad rock. Not sure. all dads have to listen to it. Your dad might have a little more taste than Counting Crows fans. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I don't know. Damn. Does anybody in this audience like Counting Crows? If you do, go ahead and. Uh, Isn't that just the band that is now Shrek Two? The band, like yeah. how uh, Green Day or what are they called? <laughs> Smash Mouth. I mean. Smash Mouth. Why did I get those mixed up? Somebody. No. Don't do it. I know you wanted to I, sing along. No, I did. Dude, that was last episode, no. dude. You lived you, in the past. You, you took a breath. You were getting ready. I, I do not breathe. <laughs> Put that down. Put it down. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Anything else, you guys? Those are all my notes about Shrek 2. Anything you guys wanted to bring up before we move on? Uh, Maddie, I know you're pretty passionate about Shrek 2. You got anything you want to say? It's pretty good. It's a pretty good film. Go ahead. Was it better it the 11th time you watched it, or was it better the first? Yeah, which time you watched it was the best time? Yeah. Like what Probably the ninth. The ninth? Why did you like watch it with like a hot guy and you're like, damn? Uh, boys I, I can't had, get you guys, I had pizza. You guys are playing a fucking uh, <laughs> shit. The, the, the Shrek two pizza stripping off game. Of a, every time mm-hmm. uh, they make like a bart or, or a farting or a burping joke, you guys have to like take off an article of clothing. That could be pretty. Fun. Yeah, and then put a slice of pizza on your body <laughs> yep, to replace your clothing. We should yep. do that sometime. Everybody, here's the new Shrek two game. Watch it with a, a girl you want to get together with. Sure. Every time they make a, a fart joke or a burp joke. Have her take off one of her articles of clothing. And then replace it with a piece of pizza. Don't even tell her about the game. Just do it and see what happens. You never know. Yeah. Girls like it when you just you know do stuff, right, Maddie? She could be into it. Yes, yeah, she, she could be. In my know. experience, if 
if you make a Shrek joke and a girl's down for it, and she starts making Shrek jokes back, you found true love. Is that what happened with you on Tinder? Shut up, dude. Oh, oh we'll talk about that on the on Donkey Kong. I don't want to talk about it, dude. Shut oh, okay. Up. Oh, okay. So now we'll go into our final ratings of Shrek. This is where we give it a rating. But yes, that is exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> you give it a rating of Shrek between, or Shrek 2, I mean, between 1 and 10, 1 being uh, this is a terrible movie, no redeeming qualities, a 10 being this is the greatest movie of all time. Who wants to go first? Who's got a rating for us? Um, I'll give it... Oh, uh, my God, great. Uh, <laughs> I'll go ahead and give it uh, five uh, donkey half God dragons out of uh, five. Oh, so perfect score. Five, five donkey dragons out of five. That's pretty good, right? I'll, I'll give it one uh, pepper grinder out of pepper spray. That's that's one of the better jokes from the, the cops segment. Yep. If you guys haven't watched that yet, pause this shit and go watch that. Yeah, don't listen, quit listening to this. Mm. Go ahead, open up another tab. <laughs> no, just leave this video. Yeah, just leave this video all together. <laughs> yeah, you just go ahead and uh, click on the link. And, yeah. uh, you'll have a lot more fun. All right, Maddie, that. what's your rating of Strike 2, 1 to 10? It's a lot shorter, too. 11 out of 10 for the 11th time scene. Oh, wow. That's, that's, Damn. that's, that's better than Citizen Kane. This is yeah. this is the Shit. Citizen Kane of Shrek movies, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess before I give my final rating, we, we should decide what's better, Shrek 1 or Shrek 2. And I'm guessing if we're watching Shrek 3 next, we should do this every time sure. to see what's the best Shrek movie. I was really um. conflicted because I really like Shrek 1, and I've only seen Shrek 2. This is the second time I've seen it. Yeah. But I think I might have enjoyed it better. Shrek One is Possibly. more of a, a classic in a way, like this, like the typical fairy tale story, mm-hmm. like a, the twist on it. But Shrek Two, I think, is just more entertaining and fun. Yeah, in a lot of ways, and I, I like um, how they use the characters more. Like the Pinocchio is much better in this movie than he was in the yeah. first one. What about you, Maddie? You're an expert in Shrek. I like Shrek Two better. Why? Um, I just. It feels more entertaining. Is it because Pinocchio is wearing women's underwear? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good reason. Uh, right, wearing so, women's underwear. So are we in uh, agreement, all three of us? Shrek 2 is slightly out Shrek's Shrek 1? Just just like, just a little, like his ear nubs mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. barely just poke through. I think that's fair to say. Yeah. And if, Rotten Tomatoes might actually agree with us. I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Anyway... For my, I'll give, I don't remember what rating I gave Shrek 1, so it'll be funny if I give Shrek 2 a lower rating, but I say it's better. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God, I hope. Uh, But I'm going to give uh, Shrek 2 a solid 7.3 out of 10. Not not quite. It it gets... Shit, I want to say you gave Shrek 1 7.5. I I might have, but... It's oh, not. Fuck, it's I not agree. a C minus. I wanted to get it out of the C minus range. It's a, yeah. it's a solid C of a film. It's it's not cinematic in any way, but it's a it's a fun old time for it's the good kids. Old, good old romp and a riot. Anyway, now that we're done talking about Shrek Two, we can move on to everybody's favorite section of the show, fan mail that we got from the previous episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull open some of my fan mail. Oh, look at that. There isn't any. Okay, uh, we got a comment on the last episode, so the Shrek episode. From a future Funk Antonio that says, I get that the fan edits are a joke, but I actually want to see them. They aren't a joke. And what the fuck are you talking so about? So when is your fan edit of Dark Knight Rises where you mix it with, you mix in all the <clears throat> the porn scenes into the movie, but they're seamless? Yeah. When is that being released? I'm fucking working on it. Give me time. How far into it are you, dude? <laughs> dude. Is it a big project for you? Yes. Okay. Because I'm, yes, I'm really excited, too. I want us to actually watch it on the show when you finish. Yeah. And I want to see if I can tell which scenes were from the original movie. I'm a movie fucking busy guy, And Christ. which scenes were from the porn, because I don't think I'll be able to tell. Jesus. Like. I'm fucking busy. <laughs> Give me a fucking minute, would ya? All right, we've got a comment from Drake Hansen. He says, when you review Shrek 2 next, you better put Shrek 3 on the straple. Well, well no fucking shit, Drake. What the fuck are you thinking? Of course Idiot. we are. Next That's fucking the only question. Option. That's a fake fan. All right, here's <laughs> he's He's been a fan since I had, like, <laughs> legit, like, since I had, like, 20 subscribers. Like, uh, he's one of the originals. Nah, he's a fucking fake. <laughs> Fucking phony. <laughs> it was from Bedhead Bernie. He says, Chris... Oh, this is... We were talking about how Chris Farley was the original Shrek yeah. voice. He says, Chris Farley's version was going to be much more heartfelt, where Shrek was a peaceful ogre who didn't want to go into the family business. So, do you think that would have ruined the integrity of Shrek, Shrek 1 if that was what the plot was instead of what we got? That is too hard to say. I... I like the... Because I don't know if they would have had all the fairy tale stuff. Because the plot of Shrek 1 is almost entirely around the fairy tale aspects and doing the twist on that yeah. genre. Sure. So I think this story wouldn't have incorporated that as well. And we would have lost a lot of the humor we got. Because this sounds like it would have just been... 
I can't. Like I can't. with Shrek's parents in it and stuff. I don't want to yeah. see Shrek's parents. I can't. I can't speculate because it's not, we don't have it. So. Well, sure, but, but we can we can speculate for fun. What no. do you think, Maddie? No, do you think I that would have been a good movie? I can't. I well, what Shrek's kind parents. of business is it? Is it like a business where they do the dirty work yeah, for the princes? It's like no, the Shrek's the ogre business is just like terrorizing people. Uh. I imagine. Uh, I mean, I think it would have been a different movie entirely. So, sure. And I don't want to lose the Mike Myers Shrek that we have now. It's it's beautiful. That's fair. But Chris Farley, it would it would have been nice to to see him do. You know what? Shrek. Rest in peace, Chris Farley. Yeah, I, I mean, I can say that, sure. Yeah. That's fair to say. Yeah. Okay, here's one more comment before we get into voicemails. I don't say that a lot about dead people, but Chris Farley. <laughs> what about Harambe? Can he rest in peace? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> He's resting in all of our hearts currently. Do you think... At, Gone but not forgotten. Do you think at Harambe's grave, a bunch of people have their dicks out right now? They better. Yeah, they fucking better, yeah. out of respect. Yeah. Last comment before we get to the voicemails, because I know Manimal's always excited for the voicemail segment. <laughs> this one is from Transmitter of Autism. He says, Shrek was most likely the movie that gave me a dragon fetish. It didn't give oh, me a transformation fetish, though, for some reason. I probably got my transformation fetish during that one Pokemon movie scene where Latias transformed into a human girl. What I like about that comment is that I wanted to fuck that Latias girl, too. Yet, you, Maddie, you've seen that Pokemon movie, right? It's like the fifth one? Is, no, it's a Pokemon... It's gotta be the fifth one, right? I I don't remember. Because the fourth one is that shitty Celebi one, and then the fifth one has Latias and Latios, and like the Latias the girl kisses Ash, and then I was like, Dick, what are you doing down there, buddy? You filling up with blood? What's, what, what you doing down there? Why are you looking at your phone, man? Well, this is a serious discussion. Go ahead and do your thing. What what thing? What are you talking about? You just do whatever you're doing. So we got a we got a celebrity voicemail this just, week. Oh, I'm gonna keep fiddling on my phone. <laughs> Uh, Kermit the Frog actually called in again. He was so excited that we were finally doing Shrek, but he didn't call alone. His uh, his wife, Miss Piggy. I have a few. In. I have a few words for Kermit the Frog. Okay. Fuck you. Whoa, Kermit's fuck a diehard you. fan. What's the problem, Kermit? Fuck you. What did he ever do to you, Greena? It ain't easy being green. It's fuck fuck you. Shrek's green and it's fucking hard. I don't give a shit. Oh, Shrek and Kermit are like the same I'm character. I'm gonna rip your fucking legs off. Jesus Christ. Batter him up, fry him, Kermit, I'm, munch on those Kermit, I'm so boys. sorry, I can't control. That's why he got demoted to, he's not even, he's a special guest now, he's not even a host. Because of bullshit like this. Shitting on Kermit the Frog. He's he's a diehard fan. Sh- shitting on all the fans today, motherfucker. Fuck the fans and fuck Kermit Hey! Too. Hey! No, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That's been our motto from day one and I ain't changing it, baby. Woo! Alright. Yeah! So here, here's that Kermit and Miss Piggy called in. They had, a, they, had a, they had a couple comments about our Shrek review. Here, let me do 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 do. Okay, here's the, here's the here's the voicemail. Hey, Kermit the Frog here, accompanied by my wife, Miss Piggy. Get Hi, cut. I'm Miss Piggy. Oh, me and Miss Piggy, we sure did enjoy your last Shrek episode of the podcast. Isn't that right, Miss Piggy? It was lovely. I. Fucking hope you get cucked, Kermit. So, some people, when they listen to podcasts, they do it on their commute to work, maybe, or when they're working out. But me and Miss Piggy here, we listened to your Shrek episode while we had sex. It was really great. I've never had better sex than when I listened to the Shrek podcast. I was watching your wife get fucked, Kermit. And I porked Miss Piggy. Piggy. You weren't porking nothing. Nothing. Well, they... <laughs> oh, the, the, the call got cut off. What happened? <laughs> I'll have to call back next time. We'll see what he was going to say. All right, that's it for a fan mail. Fuck Kermit. So now we move to a segment where we, all three of us, name a movie that we're going to put onto the straw poll, and we're going to beg you guys to vote for it. But I don't really see a point because Shrek 3 is going to win. Yeah. So just, I'm just going to say uh, fucking uh, vote for, um, what, what I have? Uh, vote for Elf with Will Ferrell. Vote for that one. Here, okay. just name any movie ever. They're not going to, they're going to vote for Shrek 3, so it doesn't even matter. All right. Uh, uh, Citizen Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Here, Maddie, name any movie ever made. John Together the movie. No, no, we're not doing recommendations. We're doing things that they should vote for. Are you want to do that for both? Yeah. Okay, Drawn Together the movie. I'm down to clown with that. Do you like Drawn Together, Animal? Not really. Oh, 
Yeah. Me and Maddie fucking love that show. It's great. Well, granted, I also haven't watched it since like I was 18. When well, I was 18. That, that's the ideal age to watch. No, 15 is oh. the ideal age to watch it. When I was 18, I was like, this fucking sucks. But if your maturity never goes higher than eight, uh, 15, like mine hasn't, then you'll love this See, show. See, I think I've lost maturity with age. Mm. Oh, yeah, that probably makes sense. Yeah. So, so I'm not such a smug asshole anymore. Hey, we know you're going to vote for Shrek 3, so this part of the show is Go ahead and vote. Vote for yeah, that. Yeah, go vote for Strike 3. Do it. Anyway, now's the part of the show where we, we get serious on you. We all name a movie that we're going to recommend that, you know, if you're bored this week, go check it out. Maybe you'll enjoy yourself. Sure. And uh, I've got one ready if you guys want to think. Go for it. Uh, so the other day, before my brother moved to, to college for the first time. Did my you cry? Little brother moving on. Uh, did you cry when you moved? No, but oh. a few internal tears were shed. Did you did you give him a big old hug when you dropped him off? Actually, I didn't, because me and my brother aren't really the hugging type. Yeah, sure, I, I can see that. Yeah, we're just like, eh, I'd rather just make a Harambe joke with him than give him, like, a hug. Sure. You know? I save hugs for my manimal friends. Oh. Because you, know? you got all that chest hair to keep me warm, and my brother, he's... See, I keep trying to hug your brother, but he's just, he's just a wily <laughs> little bastard. He's not a he hugging just, type no, of just, kid. He just runs away. Mm. Chase him around your... The, see, the funny thing is, people think I'm joking, but this seriously happened on multiple occasions. <laughs> Monkey leaves a room, and I try and hug his brother, and you, he just runs away from me. You try to sexually assault him when I'm not there? No! I just want to give him a loving hug! It's going to be terrifying for him, like, oh, oh my god, my brother's leaving again. I'm going to get assaulted. <laughs> Jesus. Did I ever tell you how I met your brother? The how first I met your time, mother? The, no, the Here, first... Let's take nine seasons to hash it out. How did you meet my mother? Yeah, so, oh god, what a shit show. Um, <laughs> That's Cobb's favorite show. Oh no. Fuck. Uh, I go to his, every time I go to his house, he's watching it again on Netflix. He's seen the whole series 20 fucking times. Gross. I, I liked like the first two or three seasons, but it goes on so goddamn long. Yeah. It, it was just a cash cow. They didn't know how to end it. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, did I ever tell you how the first time I met your brother... No, you have to tell me. Was it at High V? Yeah, it was back when he worked at High V. Um, I walked in there and I was so confused because I knew you worked at a different store, and I was just <laughs> you like, thought it was me. Yeah, because I just saw him like walk by, and I was like, <laughs> I was with uh, Lightning and another one of our friends. I was like, when the fuck did Monkey start working at High V? And then uh, uh, Lightning was just like, dude, that's not Monkey. That's his brother. I, I was hoping you went up and like bear hugged him. No, from that's, behind. that's Patches. And then um, Patches. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, as we were, like, um, going through the checkout line, he was bagging off our stuff. I didn't really say anything to him, because, you know, I never talked to him. He, he like probably wouldn't recognize you, would he? No, he totally did, because I looked at him, and, he, and then he just looked at me with a dead face and goes, I've heard a lot about you, sir. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then nodded. It was, like, such, like, I felt like fucking uh, the narrator from Fight Club. Like, I was just like, what the fuck is happening? What did he hear about you? Did I don't know. And so I just <laughs> nodded at him and then walked out. <laughs> you nodded at him? Yeah. Like, like it's like some secret society. Yeah. An acknowledgement. It was, it was like, Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm fucking Tyler Durden here. <laughs> I can't imagine what I what I told him about you. I have no that idea. Anyway, before he left... He, we got on Xbox video, and we were just looking to see what they have. It's like a shorter version of Netflix. You got on X videos? Yeah, X videos, yeah. And uh, there's this movie. It's a special kind of bond you guys share. Back when me and my brother were kids, there were three VHSs not, that aren't cartoons that we would watch over and over and over again. Was one of them The Little Rascals? Nope. Dude, I burned through like five <laughs> copies of that movie as a kid. I watched it so much. I fucking love that movie. Should I put that on the straw poll list? I Dude! Mean, the, the other nine options don't even matter. We could put... Yeah. It, yes, it that doesn't fucking slap matter. Slap that bad. I watched that movie a couple months ago. I still fucking love it. And then watch next month. It's all Little Rascals. So we have to watch that. Shrek Hell yeah! <laughs> but Guys, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Forget fucking voting for Shrek 3. Let's watch the Little Rascals. That I guarantee you, 90% of the people who voted for Shrek 3 are not listening anymore. They click on the straw poll vote and leave the video they yeah, don't even listen that's fair anyway the three vhs's we would watch as little kids all the time were max keeble's big move you guys know that movie no it's got sounds it's familiar. got josh peck in it and uh, i don't know who played max keeble we watched bubble boy one of jake gyllenhaal's very first movies God damn it. movie that's not for kids but we had it and then we watched another movie that's not for kids called rat race which stars john cleese who was in trek 2 did you watch rat race with him yes we watched oh, rat race i knew it I've, I swear to God, I'm not joking. I've seen Rat Race over 100 times. And it just so happens that I hadn't seen it since I was a kid. So before he left, I was like, oh, let's just watch Rat Race again. See if it holds up now that we're older. It fucking holds up. <laughs> Rat Race has a super shitty Rod Tomato score. The critics, the critics did not like it. But I love it. I think it's yeah. super fucking funny. Sure. It's got an amazing ensemble cast of comedic actors. You got your uh, you got your Seth Greens. You got your... Who played OJ in that new show? The OJ show? It's him. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, Snow Dogs Man. I don't remember his name. You know, it's funny. Um, 
I don't mean to interrupt you. No, but, go ahead. Um, no, I would never interrupt you, but please go ahead. <laughs> you know uh, what Hot American Summer? Yeah. The movie? Yeah. Um, I When I first heard about that movie, I looked it up on Rotten Tomatoes because I'm a fucking pleb, and that's sure. every time I hear about a movie, I do that. I do the same thing. And, like, that, the fucking score on this movie was so fucking shit. Like, <laughs> we're talking, like, it was in, like, the 10s or 20s of score. Oh, yeah. And then the TV show comes out, and it has, like, a fucking 100% yeah. on tomatoes. So it's just like, what the fuck? What the fuck changed? It's exactly the same goddamn thing. After Suicide Squad, there's been a lot of discussion on online forums about whether we should even take... Um, fucking Suicide Squad! Uh, but I know, I know. But after that came out, that's when the discussion started. The, after so, that came out, the discussion yeah, started? That's that, They tried to have Rotten Tomatoes taken down because, because the DC they're... fans were butthurt. But it's like... How... That's just DC fans not wanting to accept the fact that their extended universe is fucking shit. Right, but the question I have is... How seriously should we take Rotten Tomatoes? Because because how it works is um, people think some idiots out there think that Rotten Tomatoes is a website giving a movie a score. That's not what it is. Sure, they, it's a conglomerate. They take all these other reviewers and then they get, tell you what percentage of the reviewers gave it a positive review. Yeah. But the problem is if if you for example the new Ghostbusters movie, if you scroll through the vo- the yeah. the critics, all Isn't the little too? all the little <laughs> blurbs are. This proves that women are funny, too. Yeah. Eat this, patriarchy. And those are what are we considering good reviews yeah, of a fucking right. movie. So that's why this movie is certified fresh and fucking anything else. And better movies have much lower right. Rotten Tomato scores because of this bullshit yeah. fucking... Whatever. I mean, that's just the thing. You just have to read through it and decipher whether or not it's just shit yeah. or not. Just um, watch a movie that you want to watch. Yeah, it doesn't matter what other people <laughs> think. Oh, boy, Stang. <laughs> now, Maddie's right. Yeah. I think I'm done reading reviews or taking them seriously. Just watch a movie myself, and then I'll decide if I like it, you know? I I mean, that's ultimately all you can really do. Yeah, that's the best method. Find a reviewer that typically matches your opinions, and then just only look at theirs. Like, Jeremy Johns, I, I usually agree with what he has to say. I'll listen to him. Red Letter Media, not as often, but I still love watching their reviews of stuff. Uh, I, I think I agree with Jay more than Mike. But sure. this is me. Anyway, go check out Rat Race. It's an underrated comedic gem, huge great ensemble cl- cast. Manimal, what movie do you want to recommend? Uh. Oh, God damn it. I've... Maddie, what movie do you want to recommend? You already said it. I can do another one. Okay, sure. Sure. The Incredibles. Okay. Damn, yeah, that movie yeah. fucking rocks. Yeah. So you that, are you going to recommend that just to everybody or to a certain audience? No, everyone. everyone. If you haven't seen it, it's great. Can the Maddie fuckers? do her own thing? Nah. No, don't spit on me. Don't spit on me. <laughs> fucking recommendation. I need a fucking face mask when I record with you. <laughs> so, Incredibles is the best Fantastic Four movie ever made. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. That's what people say? Yes. Easily. Yeah. That movie fucking Except rocks. for Fan Forestic. That was pretty good, right? Movie rules. The, the newest one that just came out? No. Oh, no. That movie was... That movie uh, was... All right, you got Rat Race from Monkey. You got Incredibles from Maddie. Manimal, please... Please grace us with your movie yeah, recommendation. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a real one. I'm gonna give oh, a real oh, one. so now you admit that the other ones weren't real, huh? No, no, like like a, a movie that I did not one of my fan edits that's currently. Oh, in progress. oh okay. Oh, yeah. so because you, you can't uh, recommend something that's not out yet. Right. I mean, they're... you're not gonna say only God forgives, are you? No. Okay. Well, I am now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <sighs> go ahead, check out. Oh shit, I can't remember which year, what year it came out. Um, they can Google it. Yeah, the little rascal is not the newest one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you told him to vote for on the straw. Yeah, poll. go ahead and check it out too. It's a pretty good movie. Can I can I tell you a secret, Manuel? I don't even know what Little Rascals is. What? I've never heard of it. What is what? it? Is it like the Goonies? Um, it's uh, so there are these group of kids who form a club called the He Man oh, Woman Haters oh, Club the, because the, like they're the, little kids. The Woman Haters Club. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Maddie, give me a high five. We're down to clown with yeah. that. Um, so it's like because, you know, girls are gross when, <laughs> when you're like, Yeah, they fucking are. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Fuck uh, girls, but not literally. That's disgusting. Uh, the whole like <laughs> point of this vlog <laughs> is to talk about how girls are gross. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, Fuck them. The second, but the, not second, uh, disgusting. the second thing that they do, they do in their club is they uh, they race go-karts. I thought you can say rape women. No. <laughs> no. They race go-karts. No, you little rascal rape in those towns, women. But um, the main character, Alpha Alpha, falls in love with a girl. Now see with his hair sticking up? Yeah. People used to call me that, and I didn't know what it was, because my hair had always took up. Yeah. Motherfuckers. So, mm-hmm. like, uh, he was friends with the president of the club, so, it, like... The it, president it, of the United States? No, the president of the he club. He raped a woman, too? Hell yeah! yeah. Oh, got him! Uh, so, um, 
like it like tears the club apart and then uh, are we talking more about little rascals than about yeah. Shrek 2 in this episode <laughs> yes <laughs> okay. that's okay go ahead keep going uh, so Alfalfa ends up having a picnic with his love in their clubhouse even though it's he-man woman oh club. shit yeah and then um it catches on fire because he like oh, candles god and uh so then like romance trying... is dead yeah and so then later on they're like they're trying to raise money for uh their club so they can uh, build a new one Cause like there's this hilarious bit where they take like a bunch of pennies and quarters to a lumber yard, <laughs> and uh, they just dump it on the counter. And he's the guy sitting there was like, "What the fuck? Do How you old are these kids? They're like it ranged from like three to eight, maybe. What the fuck? Yeah, that's some young shit. They got they got a dope ass. Club. How does a three year old rape a woman? God damn it! They don't r- shut up, Edge Lord. <laughs> um, oh. So. Uh, oh. Uh, and then, like, he just hands him, like, this, like a little piece of wood, like, like two inches big, and then he gives that to him. Oh. <laughs> and so, they're trying to raise money, and then they uh, they find a way to do it through the next Don't race. spoil it! We're gonna, because we have to watch it next month, because that's know. what they're voting for. And then, and then they build, like, their own uh, go-kart out of garbage, and it's fucking, it's like, So it's like Mad Max. Yeah, dude. Oh. Yeah, dude! Oh, shit. Yeah, that's why I love yeah, that movie so much. Fuck 3. Go vote for Little yeah, Rascals. I want to see Rascal, this boys. Shit. Hell Let's yeah. do it. Anybody, or anyway, everybody, that's all for the Shrek 2 episode. Please go to the straw poll if you haven't already and vote. And you can vote as many times as you want. So vote for yeah. whatever movies you want us to watch next month. I know I'm going to continually be hammering on the little rascals. I'm just going to... As long as it's not only God forgives, I, I win. So never vote for that movie. You think that's not going to happen? It's, one of it's these days, never going to happen. One of these days. This show will end before only God forgives wins. I said take it off. Take it off the list? No, I, I, your shirt. Take it off. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why you're bringing that up now. Anyway, our good uh, friend of the show, The Very Big Potato, has made a remix of the show's theme song, so that's going to play right after this. Thank Go you all make for... Sure, make sure you turn this one up, boys. You're yeah, gonna... it, it's kind of quiet, so turn up. If you're wearing headphones, turn up uh, your volume all the way so you can hear it. Anyway, yep. for the Monkey and Animal, I guess it's just Monkey's Movie Missions podcast because yep. you got demoted. Sure did. For Monkey's Movie Missions podcast, I have been Monkey Jones. I have been Special Guest Manimal. And I've been special guest Maddie. Hello! Boy, stay! Did another one. Boy, stay! Yeah.